I would have been there for ages, and I was just like, I, I took it with the intention of getting rid of the people. Oh, really? Because yeah, yeah, because I wanted it to be a liminal space. But then everyone's doing it, I think now. Because yeah, everyone's maybe. I don't you know. look like a bit of a tourist. Maybe. Don't know. And um, yeah. yeah. I just so I, I feel a bit not so confident taking film photos when I'm at Chelsea. Yeah. Something we've wanted to do for ages. We were going to do it last month. We were in a hotel, so, and we didn't want to bring books with us oh, yeah, to a yeah, hotel. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about photo books. Yeah. Um, this might be like an ongoing thing or an every now Somewhat and again ongoing, thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we we'll, we don't buy a yeah a photo book I've got every like month. Three. <laughs> we might, you know, shoot a roll every month, but we yeah. don't buy a photo book <laughs> every month. So, shall we show you now? Yeah, get it out. Let's go in the uh, opening bit. Hello, welcome to the full frame with Mark and Ben. I'm Mark. He's Ben. And this is the full frame with Mark and Ben. Welcome back, Ben. Thanks. Welcome back, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? Taking many photos lately? I'm good, thank you. No. Um this is what the this is the last day of February. Yeah, as we feel it's the twenty ninth. This should go out on the twenty ninth, but I think we've both been busy, so this is gonna be a few days late. Yeah. Out, um Do you care? Yeah, and as of the twenty ninth, all I've shot in February has been like from the first and the second or whenever oh, right, that Olympia really? one was. Yeah, yeah, that's like I've shot photos, but Nothing. not I've not finished a roll and I've not sent anything off. So, so yeah, my top three photos are going to be from that, which is good really because they were bloody good. Oh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, not had any photos back other than that. And luckily, it was just in February, yeah. so I could count it for this podcast. So I shot three rolls in London. And yeah. then three rolls throughout February as well. So I shot six rolls total. Nice, yeah. Um, but yeah, nothing. We didn't do any other full frame stuff. So it was all sort of like... Since the start of February, I'm just yeah. going to quick look at my top three. And no, we haven't done any weekend. Have we done any weekend things? I can't Not really February. remember. I'm losing track of like what order we did stuff in. But we've got a few shoots coming up for work. So yeah. we'll get some more stuff We'll done. We'll arrange another like weekend thing yeah, as well, yeah. like Winchester or whatever. We just need a... Need an idea for a video. Yeah. Well, we've got plenty. Yeah. I've got so much film in the fridge. But, yeah. like, it's been the weather's been shit. Yeah, it is. The, there's definitely the weather because we've got some films that we need uh, good weather for. Yeah. Like that low ISO and one. Like, like, also, we don't really want to go out in the rain and it's been raining. Oh, really no. Hot, definitely so. don't want to go out in the rain. Well, I mean, I don't know. I like photos in the rain, but. Some cameras in the rain. Also. Yeah, I don't really want to ruin any cameras. So, mm. probably won't. <laughs> Should we just get going on our top three of the month? Yeah, we could do that. My third one is um, on the tube f- uh, back on our London shoot. I know it's this young gentleman asleep in front of us. Oh, yeah. So That's just, your number three, is it? Three. Okay, yeah. So yeah. That's just him nice. as- asleep on the tube. Right. Um, so this is on the Roly on Lomo 400. Uh, and what I liked about it, like, you don't really get that close to people in, mm. like, in public and get to get a photo of them. Right, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I quite like that. Also, he was asleep. I wasn't sure where he was getting off or anything, but um, he was getting off on getting off on one. Uh, but yeah, it's quite good. Like he's, he's, you sort of see a bit of his face. He's got his headphones on and he's taking up two seats. His feet are on the seat, so that's highly disrespectful. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I think it's quite a good photo. Okay, I'm gonna go for th- number three is the one that I'm not sure about the date, but I think it is like I think it was like the third. It's the uh, oh, that's the lovely. Yeah. What film was that on? I think it was just Ultramax. That's really nice. So, I took two. I took one at f one point eight, just to get a bit of blur in the background, um, and then I took another one at like I don't know f eight or something, because I wanted to make sure I got one that yeah, was safety, super sharp. Yeah. And actually, they both ended up being bang on, really sharp. So I tend to prefer the one with more background blur just because it gives yeah, it yeah, isolates yeah. it a little bit more you don't really see them so. in that color either really that's why i think it stands out well and certainly not that clean mm. all the time but yeah yeah i think you're right it's not maybe not uh, not now common color yeah no, that's lovely and they're usually like that type of red will usually be like faded as well so it's very good very good nick nice one Cool. Number two for My you. number two is on Silver Souls 500T. Yeah, I've got a couple. And it's just of the uh, rubbish. 
in oh, London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that and one. What mm-hmm. I like about this, I'll zoom in on this, but there's people going in the pub behind it, and I quite like that. Okay. And there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know like, what it is about that, yeah. but I, I like that one. Yeah. I took another one with a car going past, but I just zoomed in on this one earlier when I was looking through. Mm. And there's like people going in the pub and people walking past on the opposite pavement that I really liked. So I like we, the We've got the, that video will be coming next. Yeah. And, and it's the, the night was pretty full on. Like it was like very, very busy around that bit of London. Yeah. I, honestly, I actually have, have I've never been out in London. Like what was that? A, a Friday, Friday night. I don't think I've ever been out that late in London on a Friday. Mm. Like it's, that's a weird What time experience. did I take? I won't say, won't say on that, will it? But it was like... <laughs> <laughs> It was yeah. like uh, 11, I reckon. Because we got back about half 12. Yeah, yeah probably. It was about half 10, 11. That was, a, yeah. On a Friday. And it was and we, rammed. We walked a fair bit Sango, longer yeah. after that. So. Yeah. yeah nice. um, but yeah, um, that whole trip that evening was um, really busy. And um, there's some really good photos from that. But that yeah, was sort yeah. of the one I picked out. What's your number? Duh. This one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. That yeah. was on the Rolly. So Sinisteel 800T. It is on yeah. the Rolly, which is like a whole nother ball game. Like, honestly, I don't think I'll ever shoot 800T on 35 ever again. Cause You're saying that about everything you shoot on 120. You're like, I'll never shoot it on 35 <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, but no, not for everything. But um, yeah, like that is so much nicer than, um, than it on 35. Don't know why, but much prefer that yeah and it's just like i love the haze you get on the lights it's got i think actually the i don't know if it makes the halations like a bit less sort of because like you can still see them there's a red bit but because of the haze it's kind of dulled it down is that guy looking at you as well opposite he did look at me but i don't know if he did when i took the photo but it's not really high res enough to be able to tell just and yeah. a bike as well. Like I've always you, got. You bikes. always get like stuff on the tube that looks amazing, and then I take it and it looks like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the tube settings. Like yeah. I don't know. Why, I really love it, and I'd love that to. was like that was literally right in front of me, and I could not not take that. Like it was my idea for that perfect. London video was just to go around on the tube, and you were like, "Nah, it's been done." But then you just go and do no, that, no, and it's like no, no. Brilliant. I think going around on the tube, like we should have done that the night. It, it was rained. rained. Yeah. We should have just did a big loop. But like last time we wanted to go out on the streets, but it rained. So I thought this time we needed to go out and about. Yeah, right. we, couldn't not, we couldn't go to London and not do that. But yeah, just a video on the tube would be brilliant. Yeah. We'll just visit. We'll just go to some of like the iconic stations or... Older stations. Yeah, or just newer stations. ones that have <laughs> something interesting in them. Yeah, we went Tottenham Court Road on the Elizabeth line this time. Yeah. And that was nice. really brand new, yeah. really nice. Yeah, like a year yeah. old. Yeah. And that was really cool. Yeah, we got to, photos, yeah. There. And that was Monument. We've done like Embankment, Charing Cross kind of stuff. We've, so Our last London one had a lot from Monument as well. Mm. My um, Light Streak one was Monument. Was Monument. You know where the logo Yeah. Is behind it, yeah. That was Monument. Um, I can't remember what other photos were from Monument, but yeah, we definitely took a few there. Yeah, nice. My number one mm-hmm. is from I'm making a short film, and right. whilst I was doing that, I took my point and shoot camera with me and took some photos. And this is just a moment that happened, and I took a photo of it. Right. <laughs> this is my number one. Purely so number one? Yeah, because okay. it's like a funny memory rather than yeah, it yeah, being okay, like yeah, the yeah. composition of the photo. Yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah. So it's like on the floor is a pair of fake legs to <laughs> this part of the film. Yeah. Uh, there's a body in the carpet. Right. Uh, rolled up in the carpet and I, I made some fake legs to like show that there's a body in the carpet rather than roll right, myself up in the carpet. Yeah. And then uh, it kept falling out. Laura's standing there sort of posing drops on the floor and then Scott's in the background just smiling as I took the photo. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was filmed at like, like that was like 5.30 at night, so it was just getting dark. Right. Um, we were trying to like wrap up for the day mm. and then that happened, so I took a photo of it. <laughs> and so it's quite a funny moment yeah. uh, and like not a photo you'd see every day. But it's not like the best photo or anything, but it's, I think it's oh, quite I know funny. I what you mean, it's got something weird in it yeah, that it's makes odd. you look at it for a bit longer, yeah. doesn't it? So, yeah. 
Nice. Yes. Yeah. Cool. That's my number one. Very good. <laughs> and then yours is going to be like this amazing work of Fuck art. Oh, <laughs> no, I, I am very happy with this one, actually. Um, but I did forget about it for a second until I scrolled through. But uh, that one. Oh, right. Nice. I've got a very similar one to that with people in it. Yeah, I photoshopped all the people out. All right. <laughs> good idea. I wanted to wait for no people, but like, I would have been there for ages. And I was just like, I, I took it with the intention of getting rid of the people. Oh, really? Cause, yeah, yeah. Because I wanted it to be a liminal space. And I was like, that is perfect. That's kind of one of those. You, no people. you could go back and get no people or something. Yeah, point. yeah, probably. It'd have to be quite late could, or very early. Yeah, and I could try yeah. a couple more like angles. But I mean, that would be, I think the whole like tube network will have shots like this, like in different, you know, yeah. in all of the tunnels, the walk in tunnels and stuff. There'll be loads of stuff like this, but it's just getting it when there's no one there. And I think we were lucky enough to get some shots where there's like, two people in it mm. so just had to just photoshop two people out but where yeah. were they um uh, there was there was one like right here and you deleted them from existing and then there was one like behind you that wall going it. that way wow nice yeah so why did you want to get rid of them and it i wanted it to be liminal i didn't want the yeah. people in that I, I i know i'm usually the one that wants people yeah. in it but to make a space liminal, it has to have no one in it. Yeah. And sometimes You've got quite a, got a lot of liminal ones that are good as well. Yeah, and, and sometimes um like you just see a a space and you're like, that needs no one in it. You know, because that just needs to be about the emptiness. Yeah. That's what and that's what that photo is about. So the people having the people in it did not did not make the photo at all. So yeah. I was definitely right to you know photoshop yeah, nice. the people out it's really good but i mean some people will probably say like i should have done that but i don't really give a shit it's like people who don't know that are going to see it and say that's a good photo so you feel free to rant in the comments because it um engagement will get our views yeah. up so photoshopping a film photo <laughs> is that probably is a bit frowned upon but what are the ethics it's still, of photoshopping it's, a film photo it doesn't matter does it like it's still it's yours it's still art yeah and that was my intention was to make it with no one in it, so yeah, nice. Yeah, you know. and even then, you, you know, you could question why bother waiting for no one to be in it if you can Photoshop it and look and it be look that yeah, good. Yeah, it's fine. Like all you're doing that, all you all you're doing is giving yourself the bragging rights. I don't even know if there are bragging rights to say you waited, <laughs> mm. but like, who cares? Like, you know. Because you'd have to show the photo and go, look, I waited for this. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was well busy as well. It's Tottenham Court well, Road. So there was a really, London. as we came down the escalators, it was really quiet. Mm. And that was when I spotted it. And then I, I think I took like three photos, all had people in, but I tried to capture spots where there were very little. Yeah. I turned around at the escalator, and there was just loads of people coming down. I was like, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get empty. Like, I just, mm. I just knew then it was going to take too long. So. I just carried on. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah, so there you go. That's it. Yeah, so that's our photos of the month. Done. Um, something we've wanted to do for ages. We were going to do it last month. We were in a hotel so, and we didn't want to bring books with us oh, yeah, to a yeah, hotel. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about photo books. Yeah. Um, this might be like an ongoing thing or an every now Somewhat and again thing. ongoing, yeah. I mean, yeah. We'll, we don't buy a, yeah, a photo I've, book I've every month. I've got like three. <laughs> we might you know shoot a roll every month but we yeah. don't buy a photo book every month so <laughs> i feel like an, it'd be an as and when thing yeah yeah like i've got maybe five or six that i'd like to show yeah just, i think it just makes a good segment show and tell yeah um i think it just makes a good segment just to like i don't know yeah show and tell people about like <laughs> certain books and yeah, nice. i don't know what like inspires you and stuff i like think that, i know so. what yours is gonna be but I don't think you do because no, it's picked, not the one you've I, I went, I've seen. I picked for a different one. Yeah, it's not okay. I thought I'd save that one. Nice. What is it then? So, do we show you now? Yeah, get it out. It is called. I'll get it here for the camera. Era scans. Okay. It's uh, BMX related. You like BMXing? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's all film, but it's all shot in the well. It says 1998 to 2001. Yeah. Um, and basically, it's just. This photographer, uh, what's his name? Jeff, I think they just called it. Oh, Jeff uh, Zielinski. If you quite, show it to your camera, yeah, that might work. Quite, quite a well-known um, BMX photographer, like specifically BMX. 
and it's just like stuff that he's done basically in the late 90s just um and like it's got sections about like various riders from that era um and some of the photos are like so cool like that's yeah nice awesome it's all of all film um i love that's probably one of my favorite ones um and then there's also like at the start there's actually like some technical bits as well like he talks about the cameras he used like Pentax P30T, Canon EOS 1N with a 15mm fisheye, 50mm oh, yeah, lens, yeah. light meter. He just like he just talks about like the gear he had back then and what he started on. Yeah, just and it's just really cool. Like I just like BMX stuff. How long have you owned it for? Um uh, just a few months probably, oh, like right, six okay. months this one. To be fair, like I actually he is a very well known photographer, but you don't always hear about photographers in BMX. Obviously you hear about the people there yeah. take the photos of and the pro riders and stuff, but um I only found out about him when I saw this book. I was like, Shit, there's like a film photography book coming out mm. related to BMX. I was like, I have to I just have to get it. Yeah. Um and I'm glad I did. It's really like nice quality and just nice artwork as well. There's like some some of these like random orange pages, <laughs> <laughs> but I like stuff like that. It just makes it a bit more interesting. Is there anything in here that's like inspired you in your own work to do? Or um, I like the fisheye stuff. I if if I had have got this in like 2010, yeah, then yeah. But I feel like I've done a, a lot, lot of it. stuff similar to that. So yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't say a sp- it has inspired me, but it has it does align with the kind of photography that I like to do. Well, is yeah. a fisheye thing like a thing that's not really a thing now? No, no, definitely fisheye is still used a lot. Yeah, especially for filming, it is like for BMX stuff. Yeah, and skating as well. Yeah. I think it probably comes stems from skating is where they first used it. But um, I don't really know. Like, I think it's just about getting really close. Hmm. Is is uh why they use it you know because yeah. you'll always see like this they'll the bmx will be riding along doing something and there'll be literally a skater like on his ass like filming it because yeah. the fish are so wide like they have to be really close but i think it's just a look really there's just a look about it um and there's even like certain cameras that they prefer to use just for you know the style of it and Stuff like it's that. quite nice seeing it. It's like that you know it's like uh, late nineties, early yeah, 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 as well. yeah. Like, every everything is like from their that clothes era. and stuff as well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I mean, like most most of the riders there, I don't even I don't even know. Maybe three or four that I have heard of. They they would all be like you know forty fifty now. Yeah, some of them if are they, like, if they some were of like, them are like thirty there. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, nice. That's cool. It'd be interesting to see what other ones you bring in as well. Yeah, yeah. That, that yeah. wasn't one I thought you'd bring in. I've got like three BMX related photo books now. Nice. Um, so I'll, I will bring them all in. I thought we should like show what our favourite photo from the book is. Yeah, which um, is. So I had a quick flick through early. Oh, there we go. That one. Okay, nice. We're through the so wire fence. Just such a cool light, you know, because no, no one would think, oh, I'll shoot this through the wire fence. Because you'd be like, why the hell would, mm. why the hell would you do that? But for that, it is like perfect, and the fish eye makes it, I think, as well, because it's kind of bowing it. Cool, Stu Johnson, that is Stu. Stu, just doing a foot plant. Simple trick, but great photo. I look forward to seeing your photo book on BMXN at some point in the future. Yeah, I, I love like these pages where so like because each section George like, Dos chapter, Santos. Yeah, each chapter is like about a different rider, or it's kind of the words are usually about what he did with that rider, like his the photographer's relationship with the rider. Is the photographer like. a BMXer as well, or is he just like sort of, but yeah. like not a pro? He's just a, likes it. A pro photographer, um, but is like it? he's worked for like. Obviously, back in the early 2000s, the magazines were huge, yeah. BMX magazines and stuff. So um, he would have been working for all of them. I think he works for a big brand now still. Mm. But yeah. Is he mostly BMX photographer? Or oh, yeah. yeah is yeah. he other stuff as well? No, just it's just all... Uh, well, I'm sure he does other stuff. I, mm. I, I couldn't be 100% sure, but... Animal portraits. Yeah. But, <laughs> Baby uh, in a bucket. <laughs> but that is mainly what he does, yeah. Yeah, nice. BMX stuff. 
Cool. My photo book is um, called A View from the Bridge. Mm. Uh, which yeah, you have shown me this one Photography before. by John Ingledew. Ingledew? I do follow him on Instagram, so I might tag him in this. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's just photos from throughout the, I think, like, early 80s through to the late 90s of yeah. Stamford Bridge. So, obviously, I grew up, like, massive Chelsea fan. My dad's a Chelsea fan. I went to, he took me to Chelsea games. So, it's, like, nice seeing Stamford Bridge uh, as it was, like, before I started going. So, like, when I started going, they were, like, starting to knock it down, like, the old stadium and build the new stadium around it. Yeah. So, like, the stadium as it is now, the newest bit was built in 2003, and, like, the oldest bit was, I think, from, like, the late 70s so that was like the main stand and then like there's two stands either side that are from late 90s mm-hmm. so most of it's like 25 30 years old right um so i started going around that time when it was all being rebuilt yeah, so there's yeah. only one stand now that it was there when i started going all oh, right so it's nice to see like what it was like wait so there's still a stand from like the 70s really yeah at the Chelsea, yeah, really, yeah. Oh God, do you think all the big, Cause I, all the I big teams the like just knock them down and build a whole brand new one? But they've kept. No, some teams bits. knock down stands and build the new stand. Yeah, but like, like, um, well, like Wembley, for example, yeah. that's all gone. But like Tottenham, didn't they? They build knocked up. their whole thing down and built it like next door, yeah, almost, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, it overlapped a tiny bit, but yeah, and Arsenal right. built it up the road and. West Ham just moved into the Olympics. But that's what stadium. I mean. You think all the money that's gone through Chelsea over the years yeah. and they didn't just do but that. Like Liverpool but are building maybe a stand on top of a stand. So. Have they? Right. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, Chelsea have played at Stamford Bridge since they were um, like founded in 1995. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they're so probably... The ground has just been built and re- knocked down and built and knocked down yeah. like a few times. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of that that history from that era. So in the early 80s, Chelsea were pretty poor. Right. Um, and they sort of got relegated, got promoted from like the top division to the one below right um and it's just like it's interesting to see like pictures of the fans from back then yeah uh because my dad would have been going in this era as yeah. like a, a young man sort of early 20s he would have been right um but it's like stuff that i co- i kind of recognize mm-hmm. but it's kind of out of place because it's before i was born yeah yeah so it's quite interesting so when was this published the book I remember reading it in the so the last photos are from the 97 Cup final, which I went to. So I started going in 95. The last photos of it? Yeah, are from... Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Z- so Zola after the victory parade. And what's the first photos? From 1982. So it goes, wow. it goes like 15 years. So this is just this guy's like whole going fucking to Chelsea career. Going for 15 years, <laughs> yeah. So he was just obviously going and taking pictures of fans. So obviously, like he cornered some fans and just took photos of them. This woman in the scarf wow. with all the pin badges yeah. on her. That that, that that scarf must have weighed a ton in pin badges as well. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, but yeah, it's just I love it because I used to wa- like look through this when I was a kid. You don't really see the players in this. It's more just about the fans and the area. Yeah, yeah. I think that's way more interesting. Yeah, because you would have seen the players, wouldn't you? Like, but yeah, like I just loved it because it's like seeing things that are a bit familiar but not a bit before my time. Yeah, I so think I, I think any. Um, any photo book that's like from the past is mm. going to be like super interesting. And then it kind of ends with like they won the Chelsea won the cup in '97, so that was like a massive thing. They hadn't won a trophy for 26 years before that. Mm. And then it kind of ends with like oh, that like, they're knocking down the West Stand, building that new. Oh right, because they've um, got like shit shitload, shit loads of money at this point, I guess. And I just, think they were just investing it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So John, if you are watching this, I've loved your book for like 25 years. When did you buy it then, or when did you get it? I would it like must have come out like ninety seven, ninety eight. Oh right. So I would have got it around then. My, it was my dad's, and then I just sort of took it and yeah. kept it, and it's That's like cool. moved the house with me every time I've moved. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, and that was yeah, it's cool. Office. I I think we've both chosen like a similar type of book. You know, it's a yeah, it's just a collection of like a very specific thing. Do you know what I mean? I suppose that's what. And stuff we're interested in. That's kind of what a lot of photo books are, but it's not like a photo book about one person, person's Mm. photography. It's about a specific thing, you know, mine being BMX and your being Chelsea. So, yeah. And I think that's what makes a lot of photo books good. 
Is the topic being specific? A lot of this as well is like when I'm at Chelsea matches, I wish I had the bollocks to take pictures of fans around me. But I, <laughs> yeah. I sit in the same space every time. Yeah. It's like I know everyone around me. So I think they'd right. think I was a, like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. I've known yeah. them. I've sat there for like 20 years now. Right. So I know everyone. <laughs> so I think if I moved around the stadium a bit, I'd like, but then everyone's doing it, I think now. Because yeah, everyone's. Maybe. I don't you know. look like a bit of a tourist. Maybe. I don't know. And um, yeah. Yeah. I just so I, I feel a bit not so confident taking film photos when I'm at Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Especially the fans. Mm. But yeah, I love that book. Um, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, great. Oh, and yeah, like, what's your favourite photo from it? Do you have one that comes to mind? So there's like a copper there and there's like trying to get the fans off the pitch. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, I think they, they got promoted or something and they're just trying to get people off the pitch. Mm. But yeah. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. Well, anything else before we wrap up? We've said what we've got coming up, but what are we planning to shoot? Let's say that. So we've got low ISO film. Yeah, that's definitely. I'm gonna do low mo purple at night. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got a collab coming up, a collaboration. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, red. So it's a re- and that will be another red scale one, but focusing on multiple exposures, right? It doesn't have to be red scale. Be whatever. Um. Yeah. So it's Blossom Bay Talks. Yeah, um, is the YouTube. on YouTube chat on YouTube. So we'll be working with her, making a video on that. Um, possibly on Red Scale. I don't think it is. <laughs> Just double you, check with her what it yeah. is. She's because I thought she was going to make us two rolls of Red Scale and like she'd done in her video and send them to us. Okay, but I don't know. We should do a multiple exposure episode though. Yeah, like where we actually shoot them. Where we do it. Yeah, because our cameras do the. Should we do that oh, in Southampton or something then, or just do something else? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that could be done anywhere, really. Cool. So that's something to look forward to. Thank you for watching this episode of the Full Frame Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and watch our other videos as well, such as Red Scale and um, not the um, XR. That's a good one. XR. Not the Cambridge one. Loads of people will watch that. Doesn't need any no. more views. <laughs> <laughs> any of them. Any of them. There's loads. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. <laughs> 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 <laughs>